Okay, welcome folks. Uh, this is a later class than I normally do, but um, I figured I would get another hour in and try to finish up this chapter eight. Uh, it's well past uh, 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. Uh, I'm not normally up uh, this late, um, but uh, you know, since I am up, I thought I would uh, try to finish uh, these exercises here. And see uh, what we can come up with. Now, uh, we are on uh, Targetal 6, and we're gonna try to do Targetal 7, Targetal 8, and Targetal 9. So exercise 7, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Uh, we'll see if we can get through this uh, material here. And we're gonna go to here, open this up. Okay. Six, seven, eight, and nine. All right. So uh, if you remember before we finished off on these prepositions, um, uh, we have bet and lamed are followed by the definite article ha, or uh, which is definite article hey is like the. And the hay drops, but lends its vowel ah to the preposition ba. So uh, basically, what 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 it's talking about here is, I think I did this in the last video, but um, let's say if you have this word, um, habayit. Okay, so the house. Uh, so if you want to say to the house, um, then uh, you've got this this. Um, this is ultimately what it's going to look like right here, but you have to take the definite article hey because that's where we get the, and then you take the preposition in with or on and you merge them together. So basically, the vowel pointing on the definite article hey merges and it sits underneath the preposition uh, bet, which means in with or on. So, uh, so we start out here, uh, bayit in a house because that's just got shaba, and then we have bayit in the house um, because uh, the definite article hey with that with that uh, patach under it merges together, and so we have in the house. So you see here. So if you were to write this entire thing out uh, without the merging, it would look like this, but you would never see it like this in Hebrew. Ba, ha, bayit. Okay, so what happens is, is they X this out and this part goes under here. So it becomes uh, ba, bayit. So it means in the house. So that's how uh, we have to keep track of the definite article uh, when it merges together uh, with a preposition like lamed or bet. Note that the following expressions that are always definite, by at home or uh, avoda at work, uh, let's see, bakampus on the campus uh, are all the same. They all operate the same. Okay, so the preposition lamed is used with verbs that indicate directional movement, whereas bet is used with verbs that do not indicate directional movement. Okay, so, uh, or when no movement is suggested at all. For example, we have uh, Dan Holech La Park. So remember that the lamed is essentially two or Four, okay. Uh, that's that's generally how the lamed functions in the um, in the uh, prepositional sense, and then the the bet here is in with or on. Okay, so. 
here we have uh, Dan Oleg La Park. So Dan goes, and then we have the uh, two or four here, two, and then notice the patak under here. That indicates that it's definite. Uh, to the, and then park is a transliteration. Okay, now here's an example of non-directional movement. Uh, Dan Olech Ba Park. So Dan goes, uh, he's, he is in the park. He's walking in the park. Uh, okay, uh, Dan Lomed uh, Ba Park. Okay, so he is, Dan studies in the park. Dan studies in the park. Lomed is, I believe it's studying. Lomed. Yeah, studying. Lomed. Lomed. Lomed studies in the park. Okay, so, um, so that basically explains that. Now we have Targil 6. Uh, so this is exercise uh, 6. And so we have Hashlem, the Milet. Now this is interesting here, this, this Tav here. So we have complete Hashlem, the Milet. Uh, looks like, looks like uh, Hayhes, Hayhes. Take a look at that. The Milet, Hayhes. Okay. Um, Okay. Okay, so Babilat Hayahas. Hayahas. That's an interesting one there. And uh, so Hayahas is preposition. Bimilet uh, Hayahas. So complete the word in the preposition. A preposition. Ayahas. Bimilat Ayahas. Let's put that entire thing in there. Ashalem Bimilat Ayahas. Okay. Okay, complete with the preposition. Hashalem Bimilat Ayahas. Okay, Hashalem Bimilat. Ayahas. So complete with the preposition uh, bet or lamed. Okay, so complete with the preposition. Uvashem. Let's see here. Uvashem haetsem. Okay. Hashalem bemilat hayachas vashem haetsem. Okay, uh, let's see, Vashem, and okay, so it was not, so it's Vash, got one here. Complete with the preposition and the noun. Hashalem bemilat hayachas uvashem haetzem. Haetzem, okay. So this is haetzem is noun, the noun. Uvashem, uh, it's like uh, with the, with, with them, uh, with, uh, and with them, the noun. So, Hashalem uh, Bamilat. Hashalem Bamilat Hayachas, Uvashem Haetzem. Hayachas, Hayachas. So, Hayachas is this preposition. Okay, preposition, the noun, ha'etzim. Hashalem b'milat ha'yachas uvashem ha'etzim. Ha'etzim, okay. So complete with the preposition and the noun. Okay, and then kara uh, et, read the amishpatim, read the sentences. The um, call, uh, so in all, let's see here. Take a look at that one. 
קרא את המשפטים בקול רם. אוקיי? קרא את המשפטים בקול רם. אוקיי, אז... Read all of the sentences aloud. Uh, uh, so this is the read. Kara, et is just, you don't uh, translate that. Ha, mishpatim, so it'd be the sentences. And uh, bekul, uh, ram would be like, um, read them, read all of them. Bekul, in all of them aloud, ram. Okay. קראו המשפטים בכל רם. אוקיי, אז עכשיו יש לנו את הראשון הזה, הספרייה, זה כמו הספרייה, 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 לא מדהים, אז הספרייה הם מדברים, אז הם כבר מדברים בספרייה בספרייה, והם מדברים את זה They're putting this in cursive, but I haven't done cursive for this program. If you want to learn cursive, that's just an extra thing to learn on top of what we're learning here. I put it in print format so that it matches everything they've got. Okay, uh, so um, Yerushalayim, so we have Jerusalem. Uh, this is in Jerusalem, right? Uh, subject. Uh, Ruti. Gara, so Ruth is living. Um, Rudy, I bet just Rudy Gara, but let me let me double check that. Ruthy. Uh, it's Ruthy. 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 Ruthy Gara, and it's probably uh, we would put um, in. Jerusalem, so it would be like um, Bet Yod Reish Shalayim. Okay, Yerushalayim, so in, in Jerusalem. So it wouldn't have the definite article because Jerusalem is already definite. So all you need is the preposition in, which is the bet. So be Yerushalayim. Okay, so this is what we have here. Uh, Ruthi Gara be Yerushalayim. So Ruthi is dwelling in Jerusalem. So remember, it's not going to be by Yerushalayim in the Jerusalem because there's only one Jerusalem. So you don't need the uh, definite article there. It's just in Jerusalem. So be Yerushalayim. Okay, so then we have um, Hashior, the class. Um, I remember the lesson. It might be the lesson. Hashiur. Yeah, the lesson. Hashiur. Hashiur. <laughs> It's that, that race kind of just uh, falls off. Hashiur. <laughs> uh, okay, Hashiur. Okay. Um, Dan the uh, Hagit or Lachim. So Dan and Hagit are going or walking to. Uh, so we're going to put. Uh, So basically, they've got Hashior here. So we want to say to the class. It's not saying Matematica, uh, Hashior Matematica. So in other words, it's not spe specifying the class specifically. So we have to say, we have to add the definite article in. So uh, in this case, uh, we're going to be using the Lamed here. And so um, we, the, the hay drops out then, and it's going to be um, la shi'or. Shi'or. One of these days I'll get the hang of that pronunciation, la shi'or.
Okay, so the, and see that uh, here it is. Dan the Kagit Olachim Lashior. So uh, that's what they do. And you notice they put the patach under there, which denotes the definite article the because it's not just it's not specified which class. They're just going to the class. Okay, so we have ha universita. So in the university, uh, Ron Lomed, Ron studies. So uh, in this case, um, we're going to say Ron studies in the university. So we can't use the Lomed in this case. Two or four wouldn't make sense. So Ron studies in the university. So this hey, it's gonna it's gonna merge into a bet. Ba universita. Okay, ba universita. Ron lomed ba universita. So Rome studies in the university. Okay, and that's what we have. Uh, Rome Lomed ba Universita. So Rome studies in the university. Okay, so now we have uh, number five, we have Bayit Cafe. So this would be like house of coffee. So it's like a coffee house, okay? Anaknu holechim. So we are going. Uh, now, in this case, I think it's not specifying which coffee house. It was not saying Bayit Cafe Starbucks, <laughs> Starbucks or something. So uh, we're going to, um, uh, let's see here. Um, we are going, we could say, well, I don't really see any reason why we couldn't say to a coffee house, but let's double check that. If that's the case, there'd be a Shaba there. And then, uh, the Bayit Cafe to a coffee house. Let's see what they put. Yeah, they just leave it La Bayit Cafe because it does make sense to say that. So La Baya, we have Anaknu Holechim La Bayit Cafe. So we are going to a coffee house. So just a Lamed 2 is added on there. Okay, so now we have uh, uh, a note. I may a note. I may a note. Let's see here. May a note. There we go. Um, that's dormitories. But I just want to get the. Uh, Me note. Me note. Me note. Me note. Okay, ha me note. Okay, so dormitories. Okay, so ani student. I am a student. Uh, 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 I think it's hadash. I am a new student. Student hadash. Yeah. Student hadash. Yeah, student hadash. So Ani, uh, student Hadash, I'm a new student, Ani Gar, I dwell. And so we need to say uh, uh, in the dormitories. So this hay is going to drop out. Uh, we're going to put a bet there. And then the hay is represented by this bar called a potach. So uh, ba. 
may or not. May it will not. Now this is interesting here because you see this this Shaba here. If you seen pointing, you would see a whole limb here. This one would have a shurik. So the basically, yes, they look like consonants, but they're functioning as vowels. This is how we get the ba me u note ba me u note. So we have the shurik here, and we have the whole limb here, but you don't see these dots. So you just have to know that this is what's there. Okay, so we should see ba mi unot. Okay, yes, that is what we have. Uh, ani student hadash, I am a new student, ani gar ba mi unot. Okay, so I am, uh, so I live, I dwell in the dormitory. So remember this gar, masculine singular, uh, they've chosen that to fit with ani because it's assumed, because uh, we don't have any other uh, information except for the fact that we do have student, which is masculine singular. Okay, uh, so now we have uh, bayit yafe. So yafe means pretty or beautiful, so it's like a pretty house. Um, hem is like they, masculine plural, but it could also be mixed company. But as long as there's one man in there, it's masculine. Uh, it's considered in the masculine sense, they. Uh, they garim. Okay, so they dwell. Uh, Haifa. So they dwell in Haifa. Uh, and so I don't think we need to say in the beautiful house, because I'm sure there's lots of beautiful houses in Haifa in Israel. So what we'll say is uh, simply ba bayit. Oh, connect that there. Okay, ba bayit yafe. Okay, so hem garim bahaifa babayit yafe. So uh, not babayi, it's babayi as in shaba. We don't have a patak there. But let's see what they put. And that's correct. That's correct. Hem garim bahaifa babayit yafe. So normally, if you see the pointing, there would be two dots like this. It would be just a shaba, which means a beautiful house. Whereas if it if if you were talking about definite, then you would have a patach under there, which would be uh, this bar under the letter. It's kind of that's kind of a crooked patach, but it equals uh, ah sound, okay, and it's patach. Okay, so now uh, we have uh, Habayit. So this is the house. Okay, so Adon uh, Bar. So Mr. Bar, uh, it could be, um, I'm assuming it's going to be an ah sound there. Mr. Bar, low does not. Let's go down here. Who? Be Avoda. He is Avoda. Okay, so he is not. Okay, in the house. He's not in the house. He is uh, at work in, with, or on. Let's see. But Avoda. Yeah, at work. Okay. Ba Avoda. Yeah, but about uh, okay, so so he's not in the house. So uh, what's going to happen here is we we need to say the house here. So um, I don't bar low. Um, that with a patak. Bayit. Okay, so babayit. So I don't bar low, but by eat. So uh, Mr. Bar is not in the house. Who 
Avoda. He is in the office. Okay, so let's see what they put there. Yes, they put Babayit there. Adon Bar Lo Babayit. So Mr. Bar is not in the house. Who Ba'avoda? He is in the office. Okay, I hope that you guys are enjoying this uh, material as much as I am. Um, and I like working on these exercises. Uh, just to, because, you know, the more that you work with Hebrew, the better you get at it. Okay, um, let me check and see if I have any. All right, so now. See what we have. Um, so we've got Targil seven now. This would be exercise seven. Uh, let's see here. Osef Pata. Take a look at that. Osef Pata. Okay, so we need to. Uh, Change that a little bit. Okay, so that means add. Josef. 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 Okay, so add. Okay, pata is the, uh, remember that's that bar, and it means uh, it's, it's an ah sound. And then let's see here. Uh, matuhet, matuhet, which is the lamed. I bet you that's the preposition. Matuhet. I'm going to have to type it out. Mitahat. Oh, it's mitahat. 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 Okay, so below. We need to put the patak in. Um, we add the patak. Mitah, mitahat. 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 Okay, below. So the uh, so put, add the patak below. So that's what that's saying. You see that the patak is below the uh, the X means any letter at all in the Hebrew language, the Hebrew alphabet. Uh, so and and uh, lamed. Um, let's see, lamed or lamed bet. So two, in other words, put two or use the bet im zarich. Uh, I think it's im um, im zarich. Yeah, if necessary. Im zarich. Im zarich. Im zarich. Okay, so im zarich if necessary. Okay, so put the llama. So we're going to use the patak, the llama, or the bet uh, if necessary. Okay, so let's see here. We have uh, number one, we have Ani Holech La Mea Note. Okay, so I am going, let's uh, see here, to, well, I think uh, we need to put the dormitory. So we're going to put a patak under there. Ha Mea Note, Lo. Buck, uh, let's see, uh, it's not, oh, it's not uh, in, uh, on campus. So uh, I, I don't think that's going to require, um, see, it's not on campus. It wouldn't make say to say on the campus. I think it'd be kind of redundant there, but I think we're going to put a Shava there. We'll see what the answers say for us. Tem Aliyad, they are next to or near. Remember, this is an idiom. It means on hand or near to or next to. Uh, ha campus, the campus. Okay, so I think that it's going to be Patak and Shava. So let's see what the answers he says. Okay, no, I looks I got one right, but I didn't get the other. So this says, ha meo note lo ba campus, on the campus. 
So uh, the dormitories are not on the campus, which I thought was kind of redundant because um, you could just put on campus. They're not on campus because it's assumed you're talking about campus here, may on note right here. But okay, so that's fine. They put that there. Ani holek la meonot. Okay, so on the campus. So uh, I am going, I am going uh, to the campus. Okay, and ha meonot. Uh, the dormitories low buck campus are not on campus. On the campus. Hem aliyad ha campus. Okay, so they are near the campus. They're not on campus, but they're near the campus. Okay, uh, so now we've got number two. See number two. Amish Amish Paheha. Huh, interesting. Amish Paheha. Hamishpaka, okay, there we go, Hamishpaka. Hamishpaka, Hamishpaka. Hamishpaka, okay, so Hamishpaka Shell Yael, so belonging to Yale, okay, so the family belonging to Yale, Gara, dwells uh, in a house. So why is he using Gara if we're talking about a family? Because a family is considered a singular unit. And so it's going to be feminine singular uh, in, in a house. Babayik uh, Gadol. Let's see. Gadol um, Viyafev. In other words, big and beautiful, in a big and beautiful house. Um, so let's see here. Amishpaka Shelia El Galra. Babayit. Okay, so so in other words, the question is, is it going to say dwell in the house, big and beautiful? I think it's just going to be Shiva there. Let's hope that's the case. At least I hope that's the case. Yep, I was right. So that would just be Shiva because what would be the point? Because there's lots of big, beautiful houses. So it's just say it's going to say in a house that's big and beautiful in a big and beautiful house so you don't see the shiva there though just notice that in biblical hebrew you don't have any pointing but that's i'm just putting that in there for you guys to kind of show you what's going on here okay so now we have um number three we have ot Lomedet, so you are studying uh, but Universita, are you studying at a university? That's what it's asking, it's a question. Are you studying at a university? Uh, and so, the, now this is, um, uh, well, let's finish here. Uh, gum ani, so am I, uh, yeah, and also I am, so, so am I. Gum ani, also I am. Uh, so, uh, the question is, is it going to be, are you studying in a university or in the university? Well, if this person is saying also I studying there, then I'm going to, I'm going to think that maybe there's going to be a patak under here to denote that it's in the university and that somehow they know what the university they're talking about. So, uh, at lomedet ba universita. So um, are you studying in the university? Gamani, also I. Okay, let's see what they've got. Yes, I was right. At Lomedet Ba Universita. So are you studying in the university? Gamani, also I. Now, um, we have Baboker uh, and Net. So in the morning, I would say in the morning probably. So there's going to be a patak there. In the morning, Annette Polachet. Annette goes, uh, I would say, uh,
I think there might be a Shabbat there too. What would it say? Uh, two classes in the Universita. Abba Universita. The Universita. So I think it's going to be bubble care in the morning. Anet Holechet Lashior. Uh, la she or ream to the lessons to two lessons yeah i don't know i think i'm gonna put a uh i think this needs a patak too but maybe i'll regret that when i look at the exercises to the classes in the university uh universita so we had should we should see a patak 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 so let's see uh what we've got here uh, Oh, wait a minute here. We've got bubble care in, yeah, okay, in the morning, bubble care, Annette Olachet Lashi Urim, so to the classes or to the lessons, by Universita in the university. Okay, they don't give us this one here in the exercise, unless it is a. Uh, Yeah, they do. They highlight that. So they're they're saying that uh, in a morning. That doesn't make sense. It's got to be in the morning. I kind of think maybe they've made a mistake here in this text. This, sh this should be in the morning. In the morning. Because if you say in a morning, Annette or Um, I don't know about that. All right, so let's look at this one. Uh, Universitat Haifa, Universitat Haifa. Universitat Haifa. Universitat Haifa. Yeah, Universitat Haifa. Okay, so in the university, the University of Haifa, he, remember this, this, it's referring, uh, this is the pronoun, it's. Uh, in Haifa, and so this is going to be a Shabbat in Haifa, because Haifa is already definite. We don't need the definite article there, so we're not going to see a patak. Uh, it's in Haifa. Okay, so uh, this he is feminine singular, and remember, because it, it's sometimes if you're talking about a person, this can mean she. If it's a person, okay, uh, so uh, he equals she, but we're not talking about a person. We're talking about a location, uh, a place, uh, Universitat Haifa, so uh, the University of Haifa. So then it, 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 it's not she because it's not a person, it's it's, okay? So he, Bahaifa, it's in Haifa. It's not going to say it's in the Haifa because there's only one Haifa. It's already definite. Okay, so let's see here. Um, oh, we're on the wrong one. There we go. I thought there was something wrong there. Okay, uh, there we go. Universitat uh, Haifa he Bahaifa. So. In other words, if you saw the, uh, if you if you had the pointing, there would be a shava under there. Okay, so Bahaifa, uh, which is in Haifa, essentially. You don't have the patak there. It wouldn't make sense to say in the Haifa. Okay, uh, so now we're here on number six. I'll say so. Uh, Gail, uh, I think that's that's Gail. Gail. Gail, maybe it is Gil. Uh, okay, so Gil Lo Gar. Okay, so Gil does not live well. Uh, I would say uh, this would be Shabbat. It'd be like a Shabbat there, Babayit. In a house, in a house. Who student? He is a student, but uh, universita. Uh, so I would say, but universita in the university. Vahu gar, ba 
may or not in the dormitories. So I was I put a patak under there. So there should be shava patak patak vahu gar bameonot in the dormitories. Okay. Uh, now they they've included a a patak here. So gil lo gar babai. So uh, Gil does not dwell in the house. But I kind of think that's, that's, that's kind of not very smooth, is it, to say in the house. He, student, he is a student by Universita in the university, Vahu Gar Bahmeono in the dormitory. So these two make sense to have the Patak under there. But not this one, I don't know about that. I would just initially you would say in English, even in English, you would say, well, well, Gil doesn't live in a house. He lives in the university. Uh, uh, let's see. He is a student in the university and he uh, dwells in the dormitories. OK, uh, so that that makes more sense. So I'm not sure what they're getting at there. All right, so uh, Tali he, so Tali, she is uh, Yelda, Yelda, as like, um, she's a Katana. Okay, so she's like a small child. Yelda Katana. Yeah. Yelda Katana. So a little girl, she's like a little girl. Uh, Tali, she yelada katana. So she is a uh, she is a little girl. He olechet. Okay, so she goes. Uh, Lakita Aleph is like kindergarten. Kindergarten. So, um, so the question is: Is it going to be? Is she goes to? Lakita kindergarten, she goes to, I, I, th I think because this is already definite, it's telling us that this is kindergarten. Therefore, I think it's going to be Lakita. I left, but, but so far I've been surprised a couple of times already. So I, I, I'm past being surprised in our answers. Lakita, two, uh, which is two kindergarten. So it's already definite. But let's see what they put. Okay, and I was correct on that. Okay, so Tali, he, Yalda Katana. So uh, Tali, uh, she is a little girl, and this is the, the girl part, little Katana, little here Katana. Uh, he, which is uh, she, Holachet, she goes, Lakita Aleph to kindergarten. And so, like, Lakita is like, uh, it's like uh, to class, Kita. Yeah. Kita. Kita. La Kita. La Kita Aleph. Okay, so that's kindergarten. I think what I need to do here is knock out uh, one of these, uh, knock out a couple of those, bring that back up. Okay. So now um, so we did seven. Now we've got eight and nine. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this uh, tonight. I'm going to try, even if I go over a little bit. I do feel got some energy. So, uh, okay, so we're at 44 minutes. I think we can do this. Okay, so now, um, We have a uh, Targil, exercise eight. So we have uh, Hashlem et Hadilogim. So complete the dialogue, complete the dialogue. So this one's not translated because it's the, it's marking uh, what the uh, the subject is. Okay, so Hashlem uh, et Hadilogim. Complete the dialogue, uh, Kara uh, et a dialogue game. So read the dialogue. Im uh, Havarim. Okay, so with, oh, with friends. A dialogue game Im Havarim.
Yeah, with friends. I think that's right. Read the dialogue. Wait a minute. Read the dialogue with bars. Hmm. Hima, uh, oh, habarim. Habarim. Oh, okay, so the bars. Okay, so habarim with, with, with the bars. Well, these are the bars here, it looks like. Um, put these in with the bars. Kara et hadilogim im habarim. habarim. And that's oh, it's a hat. That's what's going on right there. It's no, it's not bars. It's friends. That, that's what I thought it was at first. <laughs> there we go. Hadilogim uh, im hafarim. So that's this is friends here. Read the dialogue with friends. Okay, so this is. Uh, so this is uh, in other words, these are friends talking to each other. These are friends talking to each other, and we need to complete these. And that's what that's saying. Okay, so uh, Hashlem Bet, I would say, so complete, uh, complete the uh, the second part. Ze, Zot, Ela. So uh, we need to put uh, Ze is masculine singular. This Zot is feminine singular. This Ela is these. Remember. So. Um, well, here's the first one here. So we're going to have to, uh, to figure out the first one, we're going to have to go down here and figure it out. Ron says me uh, blank. Gael says blank. Uh, Gavarot bar Natan. Okay, our dwelling uh, in bar Natan. Bar Natan. Okay, dwelling. Garot means dwelling. So I would say. Uh, because we've got garot, I'm thinking they're going to use ela, meaning these. Okay, so then me. My, see, my first impulse is to put just because this is how they've done it and previously z, but I'll see what what they did. Who is this? Uh, and Yael says these are dwelling in Barnava. Garot, Barnava. Ela, Garot, Barnava. Oh, it's not Barnava, it's... Uh, Ela, eh. Garot. There we go. Double check this. These live, these are dwelling. I've never heard of bon, Bar Natan before. Barnaton. I guess that's a place. Okay, so let's see if our answer key gives us what this is. Z and Ela. Here. Okay, who is this? Yes, I was right. Oh, it's a dome. Well, why didn't I? Uh, okay, wait a minute here. Go back to our answers here. I missed something here. I missed something. Ron says, me, Ze, who is this? Yael says, that's a mystery on that answer key. This is Targil 8, right? 
Yeah, Targil eight. Okay, so we should have Ron and then Yael, and we should have me, Ze, uh, Ela, uh, Giverot. Giverot is uh, living in feminine plural. Barnatan in ton. So, uh, but but the answer key is uh, is mixed up. Uh, number one, they've got me ze. That's correct. And then they say ze adon barnatan. You see that uh, in the uh, in the text, it was garot. They put the wrong word in the text. But it looks like if they if it was, um, uh, they say. Uh, See, they've got Adon here, and in the text, it's Garo. So it's, this is why uh, texts have to go through revisions. You don't see Adon here. You see Gevarot, dwelling. Uh, so they should have Adon there. So then that would make sense. Ze Adon. Uh, this is Mr. Bar Natan. So that's a proper name. So that's what that should be. They messed up here in the text. The only thing I could figure. You ever wonder why textbooks have first edition, second edition, third edition, fourth edition? That's because students, when they go through these, they find, or teachers, probably professors or teachers, when they go through these, they find mistakes and they report back to the text company and they probably have a list of when they get to so many mistakes, then they then they try to fix them and they issue another revision. All right, so let's go to the second one and see if, if they uh, can straighten this up. Okay, so uh, Rome says, uh, but me and who? And now they've seen that, now they've got the first one that's in the, They've got this one now. <laughs> okay, so the um, me ze and who is this? Okay, Yael says ze Adon Bar Natan. Okay, okay, um, okay. So this is Mister Bar Natan. So that's that's correct now. Maybe they just switched the answer key around. That could be. Yes, they did. They just switched the answer key around. That's all. These two are showing up as, as, as the second one, and this is showing up as the first. Okay, so um, so me, ze, ze, I don't, okay, so umi, zot, and who is this? Zot, uh, give a rote. Barnatan. Uh, this this is uh, this is dwelling in Barnatan. These who is this? So dwelling in Barnatan. Ah. Okay. So yeah, Ail says blank Adon Barnatan. Uh, this is Mr. Barnatan. So probably, uh, I'm assuming because Mr. is going to be Ze. Because remember, Ze means this in the masculine singular sense. Okay, Ron says, uh, me and who is? I'm going to go with Ze again. Okay, and who is this? Yale says, uh, now this time we're going to use Ela. These. Ayel, Ela. Um, Ayeledim Shelhem. These are the children. Okay, these are the children. These are their children. These are their children. Okay. Now, is it going to use, um, and Rome says, oh, Zot uh, Mishpaha Gadola. So this is a big family. Okay, uh, let's see what the answer key, then I've, the answer key has been confusing me on this one. Let's see what it uh, looks like. 
Okay, so look at this. They've got the Mi'ela. And who are these? Okay, because, yeah. And Yael says, uh, Alu. This has got to be Alu, Hayeladim, shall him. And these are uh, their children. And these are their children. Okay, so let's let's go through this answer key and just see if we can figure this out. Rome says, Me, Zeh, who is this? Yael says, Zeh, Adon Barnatan. Now, they did get these mixed up in the text somehow. So it must be the text part. The text questions are messed up. The answer key is correct because it does make more sense. Rome says, Umi Zot, and who is this? Zot Gara, let's see, see uh, Zot Gavarot. Uh, let's see, Zot Gavarot Barmatan. So Gavarot. Ah, Gavarot is not dwell. It's uh, Mrs. This is that's what I was missing here. Gavarot. Okay. Mess that one up, guys. At least uh, I'll figure it out here. This is Mr. Okay, this is Mrs. Bar Natan. All right, so let me go back to the questions then now that I've got that straightened out. Okay, let's see here. There we go. Me, Zeb. We'll try this again. Ze, okay, this is, uh, who is this? Uh, ze. Oh, this, that's Gever, uh, Geveret. Geveret is Mrs. Barnaton. So that's what they've got. That's what they got mixed up. They did get these, these mixed up because it started out in the answer key, it started out with Mr. Barnaton. Let's double check that again. Yeah, look at that. They've got uh, Adon Barnaton, and down here they've got Gevaret Barnaton. So in the in the actual text, they've got this as number two, and this is number one exchange. Look at that; they got that mixed up. Okay, so um, but it, but in the answer key, it looks like it's correct. But it's just the text is they mi they mixed up a couple lines. Me, Ze, Za Adon Barnatan. So who is this? This is Mr. Barnatan. Umi Zot. And who is this? So Gavaret Barnatan. This is Mrs. Barnatan. Umi Ela. And who are these? Uh, Alu. Notice this is Alu because it's talking about um, um, plural. It's talking about like, like uh, these. Hagiladim Shelchem. And Shelchem is. Uh, means possession of, belonging to, and Ham is like it belongs to Mr. and Mrs. Gev, uh, Barnatan, okay? So, Elu, uh, Hayeldim, uh, Shel Ham. So, uh, these are their children. These are their children. Oh, Zot Mishpoka Gadola. This is a big family, okay? This is a big family. Okay, let's see if, we can, if I can do better on the second one. All right, uh, gosh, they did get these mixed up, these two. They need to fix these. This is number two. This is number one in the answer key. So they should be switched around. Okay. Um, so number two, Hashlem Vet. Okay, so complete the second dialogue, okay. Shalcha, Shali, belonging to you, belonging to me, him, them. No, ma, what or me? Ma is what and who? What and who? Okay. Look at this dog bark here. Uh, looks like... Um, Looks like huck, 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 something. Haku, haku. <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, Danny says, um, me, ze. Okay. So, because this is, 
Hakelev. Okay, this is Hakelev. This is the dog. Who? What is this? This is the dog. So uh, you don't refer to dogs as as. Uh, let's see if we put. What is this? Uh, who is this? This is my dog. Who is this? Well, some people do. They refer to dogs. Well, let's put uh, me there. Me, ze. Who is this? Ze hakelev. And I bet you it's going to be shalcha. So it's like belonging to me. Okay. No, wait a minute. No, it's not going to be that one. It's not. Uh, it's going to be sh. It's going to be uh, shil. Shali. There we go. Ze hakelev shali. This is my dog. Who is this? This is my dog. Me and shali. Let's see if I, I can get that right at least. Oops. Went, blew right past it. Okay. So, yep. Me, ze. I was right. Uh, who is this? Uh, ze hakelev shali. This is my dog, and, and Shali means belonging to me. So it's it's possession. Uh, so it's uh, Zeth, this is Akelev Shali. This is my dog. All right, I might be doing a little better on these. All right, so Danny says blank. Shamo, what is his name? So this is. Uh, so probably we're going to use this one here, Ma. What shall, uh, Shemo, what is his name? Notice that the O part here, this on there, refers to his. Okay, uh, and then uh, Tali says Shemo looks like Zuzi. <laughs> You ever heard of it? You ever heard of a dog named Zuzi? <laughs> Zuzi. Zuzi. Shamo Zuzi. Uh, his name is Zuzi. I wonder uh, what that would translate to. Zuzi. Zuzi. Uh, it's got several things. Move, budge, go away, shift, or stir. <laughs> I don't know. It's not exactly a typical American dog name. All right, so uh, we've got Donnie says, uh, let's see, La Caleb to the dog. Okay, so, uh, so it's referring to the dog. Okay, so that's why they put that there, La Caleb. Uh, sh Shalom, Zuzi. Hi, Zuzi. So this is actually Donius now getting into a conversation with the dog. Shalom, Zuzi. Hi, Zuzi. Blank. Nishma. So I think what they're going for is Hima Nishma. How are you? So probably uh, they've got going to put a uh, Ma in there. Ma Nishma. How are you? Okay. And Zuzi says... This looks like a how 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 or I don't know I don't know how you get a dog sound out of that. We got hey a left uh, looks like vav hub 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 maybe it's a uh, hub 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 <laughs> like in uh, like a bark sound hub hub hub. Uh, let's see. Danny says uh, uh or no hakilev hakilev. Uh, the, the dog, uh, blank, the Hamad may own. I think, uh, let's see here, the Hamad. The Hamad may own. Very nice. Nechmad may own. Nechmad may own. Nechmad may own. So this mayod part is is very and nechmad is nice so like nice very. Uh, so um, let's see. I would say your dog. We would put shalcha there. Your dog is very nice. Uh, 
Okay. And that's in reference to uh, Tali. But it's not going to be a Ka. It's going to be your, because Tali is clearly a, uh, I bet you it's going to be Shalech. In other words, if you saw the point in, there'd be two Shava there. Shalech. Hakelov Shalech, your dog. Nechmad Me'od. It's very nice. And Tali says, Toda, thanks. Okay, so let's go to the answer key and see how I did. Okay, uh, okay, so we have uh, Dunny says, uh, Me, Ze, who is this? Ze Hakelev Shali, this is my dog. Dunny says, uh, Ma Shemo, what is his name? Tali says, Shemo Susi. His name is Susie. Uh, Donnie says, and this is a reference to La Caleb, to the dog. Shalom, Susie. Ma Nishma, how are you? Uh, and Susie says, uh, Hav, Hav, Hav. He's barking. Uh, Donnie then says, Ha Caleb, uh, Shalech, uh, Nechmad Me'od. So, Nechmad, so, uh, Ha Caleb, so, so your dog, uh, and it's going to be Shalech. So it's, uh, it's your dog is very nice because obviously uh, Tali, I think, is a girl. Let's go to Pa'alim and check that out. Yeah, I'm almost certain Tali is a girl. So it's going to be uh, Shelech. Uh, so it's your dog, feminine singular. A Caleb Shelech, Nachmad Me'od is very good. And then Tali says, Toda, thank you. Okay, so I think I think I did pretty good on that one. All right. Uh, so now we have uh, Shelot. These are questions. Shelot. Okay, so. Number one, afo, at or ata, or gar or gara. So what do they want us to do here? Where are you dwelling? Okay, so where are you dwelling? Uh, and so they are, okay, so basically what they want you to do here is uh, put in like, a, Uh, like for example, uh, where are you dwelling? And so this is this is like for the class because uh, it's like there's the class is going to have females and males in there. So this is why we have at or ta. In other words, it's going to depend whether it's a female writing this down or a male. So since I'm a male, I would put uh, ani uh, gar. Ani gar. Uh, let's see. I'll put. Um, Okay, so babayi, in a house, in a house. I'm dwelling in a house, okay. That's essentially what, what's going on here. Uh, ata gara or at or ta or gar agara, bameo not o badira. Are you uh, dwelling in the dormitories or uh, in an apartment? I think badira is um, an apartment. Badira. Yeah, apartment. Badira. Badira. Okay, so, but may no, are you dwelling in dormitories or an apartment? So, in other words, this is designed, it's a college class. This book is a, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's at um, Yale uh, University. This is an Ivy League school where we're getting this uh, Hebrew text from. So, like, uh, if this was in a classroom situation, you would have students that were either dwelling in dormitories or an apartment. So they could put, uh, let's say if I was there, I would put a ta because I'm male. A ta, and I would put gar. Gar, I am dwelling, uh, and probably I would prefer to be in an apartment. If I had my druthers rather than dormitory. Adira in an apartment. Okay. 
Okay, so how about this one? At or ata gar agara. Okay. Uh Leved or let's see. That Levad again. Levad. Yeah, Levad means own or alone, apart. In other words, it means are you dwelling alone? Okay. So are you dwelling alone, O im? Uh, let's see, uh, Shotfim. I think Shotfim is a uh, like a, a roommate. Shotfim. Yeah. Um, there's something here. Um, oh, it's um, yes, Tav. That's what we missed. Yeah. Shoot the theme. Shoot the theme. So this is like a uh, like a partner or a roommate. Shoot the theme or shoot the fet or shoot the folk. Probably shoot the folk. Uh, so this is like a, a roommate, whether masculine or or uh, feminine. Shoot the theme. Uh, roommate or uh, so. So if I were to answer that and I was in university, um, I would say uh, Ata Gar, I am dwelling, Gar. Uh, I would say um, just Lavad. I am dwelling alone. You could answer it that way. There's a lot of different ways you could answer this depending on your situation. All right, so uh, me, Shotef. Uh, Shotef. Okay. Hashotef. Hashotef or Hashotefa. Shalcha. So who are your roommates uh, or Shalcha? So in other words, if you, if you answered you have roommates, who uh, shotaf or shot uh, uh, hashotfa would be like a female roommate, uh, and shelcha yours, or it could be uh, shalech if it's a girl that's talking, but in, in this case it would be shelcha for me. So who are your roommates? I would say Ela. I would not. Um, I wouldn't use Ela. I would say uh, he, uh, him. Okay, they, uh, they are, and then like, uh, it'd be like, like Tony, uh, I could put Tony there or whatever. Okay, so that gives you the general idea of what this one's about. Okay. Okay, let's see what I want to, I might go over an hour on this one. I have a feeling I'm going over an hour on this one. Yeah, so this is going to be a longer one, but I want to finish this chapter so that we can start fresh. On chapter nine, I keep getting these friends requests from all of these third world countries, these people constantly requesting, be my friend, be my friend, and they want to engage in conversation. It's like, I'm, a, I'm like a magnet for third world, you know, these people that are on, you know, asking for money. I don't know why. All right, anyway. Uh, Targila nine. Okay, so we have Hashlem, Babilot. Um, we did this one, Chai uh, Chos. Let's see. Complete. Complete Babilot. Complete the words. Hashlem, Babilot, Chai Oh, that's not right. Uh, It's Hayihas, probably. Complete with prepositions. Hayahas. One of these days I'll get this one pronounced right. Hayahas. Hayahas. And so this is prepositions. Okay, so Hashalem Bamilo. Complete the words Hayahas with prepositions. Okay, so we've got, uh, let's see. 
Bet in with or on, Lamed to or for, Mem means from, Aliyad near to, Aim with or uh, shell belonging to. Okay. Um, let's look down here. We've got uh, Akshav. Looks like Ernest. Uh, yes. Yeah, is it Akshub or Akshav? I think it's Akshav. Akshav. Uh, let's see here. Akshav. Yeah. Akshav. Akshav means now. Akshav. Okay, Akshav. And then we have uh, the Yachad, by Yachad. With, uh, in other words, with company or Lavad, alone. By Yachad, with company, with people, or alone. Okay. All right. Uh, so. I'm breaking my own rule by going over an hour, but it bugs me that I haven't gotten through this chapter within three uh, sessions. Okay, so Rivka says blank America. Okay, so Rivka says Rivka is in America, probably in America. I bet you that's going to be a Lamed. Uh, but America. Or rather, a bet in with or on, not two or four. It's this one here, bet. And so, uh, Rivka, but America, Rivka is in America. Akshav, now he, Gara, now she lives uh, probably um, in Israel, so by Israel, and then uh, uh, the Lomedet and studies. Uh, universita. Okay, so in university, so in university, um, Philomedet, but universita, in university, he gara, she dwells, um, but in, and may, uh, no, let's see, see, she dwells, but may or not, in the dorm, in, in the dormitory, okay, blank, a compass on the campus. So in with or on is going to be here. It's going to be bet. Isn't that something? They haven't really given us bet, 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 bet. All right. Let's see what the answer key says. I'd be surprised if I messed that up, but maybe I did. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So um, it's they already put a compass. Uh, so it's all yad here. Okay. So I should have thought that through a little more. Okay, so uh, Rivka uh, may America. So she, oh, she's from America. Well, I wonder why they couldn't say uh, Rivka's in America. Akshub, now she is dwelling the Yerushalayim. Okay, uh, but okay, okay, I get it. May America, from America. Uh, let's see here. Valomedet be university. So she's studying in the university. He gara fameo note in the dormitories. All yad rings near to uh, campus. Okay, near next to the campus. Okay, so so we should have had uh, May America and we should have all yad. They're not all bets there. Okay. Let's see if I can do better on the next one. Okay, so he gara, she uh, dwells blank. So I bet you that's that's shotfa um, nachamada, a nice partner. Shotfa nachamada. Yeah, nice partner, like a nice roommate. Uh, so it's got to be, uh, she, it's, it's not going to be, uh, it's going to be in, with, or on. So it's got to be that one, bet. Beshotifa Nachmada, Nachmada, a nice partner. She dwells with a nice partner. Okay. And then Hashem and they blank. Let's see. Um, Hashem. Hashem. 
Yeah, that's, uh, oh yeah, the name. Hashem. There we go. Uh, the name of her partner, okay, the name, Hashotva, the name of her partner is Annette. So the name of her partner. Okay, so it's got to be, uh, it's got to be, got to use this one right here, uh, denoting possession. So uh, I think if it's referring to Rivka, why wouldn't it be uh, Shelcha with a peak in there? Shelcha. Oops, put that in the wrong one. Okay. Shelcha. Let's see. The name of her partner, Ashotep, is Annette Ashotfa. Ashotfa. Okay, Annette, he. Annette, she is blank kibbutz barim. Okay, kibbutz. This is like kibbutz barim. She is from, probably from. So um, I bet you it's May. I bet you the mem goes in there. May kibbutz barim. In other words, the name of the kibbutz. So it would be like a like a agricultural community that works together. Make your boots barim. So uh, let's see if I got this right. We, we should have bet, shelcha, mem. Okay. Uh, I still didn't get one of them right. Hold on here. Uh, Igara im shotep. Oh, that's with. So what did I put? Uh, she's dwelling. Uh, okay, with. That makes more sense. All right. So Hashem shall hashot uh, So uh, the name belonging to the the, uh, the partner. The name of the partner is Annette. I'm not sure why they didn't use shell ha there, but they put shell. Okay, Annette, he, Mickey Boots, Barim. Okay, so I got that one right. Uh, from Kibbutz Barim. Wow. All right, uh, so that's the correct answer. You got to have im, shell, and mem. Uh, let's see here. This next one here. Maybe I can get this one right. Rivka the Annette. So Rivka and Annette, hen, they, let's see, have a rope. So they're friends to vote. So they're good friends. Okay, blank. Um, Oker, hen, holachet, uh, hol, uh, holachot. They go. Um, Bihad, okay. I think that means. Um, be a hard, be a hard. It's be a hard. Okay, be a hard. They go together. They go together. Okay, so um, so probably in the morning, right? In the morning. In with or on would be bet. So I'm gonna put babo care. Babo care hen holachot. Yeah, they go together. I bet you that's two classes. So Lamed, La Shiurim, to the lessons. Uh, I bet you it's in the university. So that's got to be bet. Let's hope I get this one right. The blank, a rev, and uh, so in the evening, in the evening, and the a rev. Okay. Put bet a rev in the evening. Ola quote. Now this is chavarim friends, so they are going blank chavarim. It would have to be. Uh, I bet you it's with im. Maybe I'm getting the hang of this now. Im chavarim. So they're going with friends. Blank 
Sorette to a movie. Sorette is a movie. Uh, so two or four, that would be this one here, Lamed. La Sorette to the movie, oh, blank, by eat cafe. That would be like, uh, or to a coffee house. La Sorette, oh, okay, to a coffee house. Okay, so we should have uh, Bubble Care, Lamed, Bet, Bet, Eam, Lamed, Lamed. All right, maybe I get this one right. Okay, let's see what the answer says. Let's see, Rivka and Annette Hen Holaket. Okay, so Rivka and Annette, they are going. Holaket, they're going, or Holakot, rather. Um, no, they, they are friends, Havarot. Rivka, Annette, Hen, Havarot. They are friends, Tovo. They're good friends. Okay. Uh, bubble care in the morning. I got that right. Hen, Holoho. So they go. Uh, Bahi. This would be like uh, Bayahi. Bayahi is together. Uh, two classes. Yep. Uh, two classes. La, she, or aim. Ba, universita. Okay. In the university. Uh, va, ba, yep, in the evening, and in the evening, hen, olaho, they go, uh, im, yep, I got that right, with havarim, with friends, la seret, to the movie, o la bayit cafe, to the coffee house, to the movie or the coffee house, and this, this o, is means o, or, or, uh, or the coffee house, la bayit cafe. All right. Hey, we got it done. Uh, we did that within a uh, short amount of time. An hour and 27 minutes. I went over, but uh, next time we're going to work on she or lesson nine. Lesson nine. She or nine. Okay. Uh, so we're getting deeper and deeper into this text. And we'll just keep uh, working our way through. Uh, I hope that you all enjoyed uh, this study with me. And if you feel so led, you can go to www.paypal.com and you can put in, you don't have to have a PayPal account, just a credit card, send to gsmith71.gs at gmail.com. Okay, uh, send a donation if you're getting a benefit out of this Hebrew. Uh, or, um, you know, uh, if you want to reach out to me, you can reach out to me here. Okay, also, uh, if you are interested in Sabbath classes, uh, you know, uh, we have Sabbath classes every Sabbath, and we also have other uh, kinds of events. Reach out to my email. We also have a lot of teachings uh, available uh, here in Greenwood ancientmisrael.com, or you can go to our denominational website, uh, veroyahad.com, okay? And uh, this is this one here is the Greenwood Yahad, and the veroyahad.com is our central office uh, website. Uh, and we hope that you enjoyed all this. And I hope that you have a great night. Uh, so Lila Tov, and that means good night.